Welcome back everyone, Coin Bros here with you with another weekly hunt through some coin. I can safely say, at least for now, the apparent coin shortage must be over because we're back to our regular order for the week. We've got four boxes of half dollars, two quarters, and two dimes as well. So we'll get right into it and see if we can find anything in this first box of halves. Alrighty, nothing in that first box of halves. We'll get right into this one and see if we can have some better luck. Alrighty, we're about halfway through this box, maybe a little over. And we've got our first silver right there. We'll take a look and see what we got. 1965, 40%er. Very nice, not in bad shape either. And I also pulled out um, this one from a roll. Um, I just figured I'd show you guys when I brought you back in. So it's got a two, uh, two dates stamped into it besides the actual 1983 there. Looks like 1960 off to the left. And I got to look closer quick. Looks like 1980 off to the right here so I have found a few other ones like this in the past but haven't found one in a while so that's pretty cool to add for add to the finds for this week I'll let you guys know if we find anything else just got finished up with that second box I'm glad we've got silver early on hopefully there's some more hiding in these last two boxes of halves I'll let you guys know if there is Man, oh man, do I wish I would have flipped this roll over to see the ender because I'll let you guys see. It's a Benjamin. I opened the roll up, saw this end of it, and I'm like, dang it, I should have flipped it over to look. But that's all right. Pretty nice looking Benjamin, 1962, Philadelphia. I'll start looking on the other ends of them from now on, since that happened. Hopefully there's some more Benjamins in this box. I'll let you guys know if there is. About 10 rolls later, and we've got two right next to each other here. This one on the far right is harder to tell if it was silver, but it does look to be. So we'll take a look. Oops as it slides through my fingers. It is a 1968 Denver, so it is 40%. Very nice. And this one is too. Another 1968 Denver. A little more dirty, but that's all right. Silver is silver. Pretty good box. We've got a fair amount left in it. I'll bring you guys back in for any more finds. And just two rolls later, we've got another silver. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Benji, but it is 90%, 1964, Philadelphia. We'll add it to the pile and keep on going. And just a few more rolls later again, we've got another silver. Looks to be 40%. Yep, it is. 1967. This has proven to be quite a good box. I'll bring you guys back in if we find any more. Two rolls later, once again, we've got another silver. Again, it's harder to tell, but it is right there. Another 40%er, 1967. There we go. And just because of us finding so many back to back, or close to, I should say. We're gonna open a couple live. Just for the heck of it. Nothing in that one. Oops, drop that one on the floor. We'll try this one. Well, nothing in that one either. But I'll bring you guys back in if we do end up finding any more in this box. All right, 
so apparently I'm blind because when I uh, did the intro for this box, I didn't even realize we had a Ben uh, Franklin Ender right here too. So I'll pull that one out next and we'll open it live. But geez Louise, I looked at <laughs> this box at least two or three times for Enders and never even saw it. So I'll get it pulled out for the next uh for the next one we open. All right. Now that we know this is an ender, it's a Ben Franklin. I hopefully won't be blind for the rest of these boxes, but it does appear like it used to be or was a proof. Um just because of how shiny it is, it still kind of has that mirror reflection to it. But it's been circulated enough to where it's kind of lost all of its shine that it once had. So, it is the only one in the box, or in the roll. Does look to be like it used to be a proof. Um, and you guys can let me know too in the comments what you think. But, it's got a Denver Mint, or, nope, no Mint Mark. Jeez Louise. I'm losing my sight today. I need to go to bed. So it's a 1962 Philadelphia plain old Benjamin. That works for us. I'll let you guys know if we find anything else. It's now time to get into this final box of half dollars. And we're going to go across the enders slowly so that I can make sure I don't miss any this time. I don't see any. So, we'll get right into it and see what we can find. That now wraps up what we had for the half dollars this week. I'm very, very happy with what we found. Hopefully, we'll have that same luck when it comes to the dimes. We usually do have pretty good luck. So, we'll get right into it and see what we can find. Gone quite a ways through this box. Got about 11 rolls left. And we've got our first silver. Pretty much dead center in the middle. So we'll take her out. <clears throat> it is a 1964 Denver. Very nice. Silver in the dimes, as always. I'll let you guys know if there's any more. Moving right along here after that uh, first box of dimes. Got the second one here for the week. If we don't find anything here, we'll get right into the quarters. All right, we just got wrapped up with the dimes there. Nothing too crazy this week, but at least we did pull the one silver. And like I had mentioned before, the apparent coin shortage must be over because we've got quarters again. So let's hope we can maybe pull some West Points or even some silver. We were getting down to the wire on this box. We've got the second to last roll right here. And we just came across our first West Point. That's going to be a 2020 because of that V75 Privy there. So let's take a look, see what design we got. It is a tall grass prairie. Very nice. I like that design. It's a pretty nice one. So I'll take that. Um, I'll also show you guys the other two that I have sitting down here. Um, I actually ended up pulling from this box earlier um, two of the earring errors. So pretty crazy to still be finding these, I think. Oops. Um, especially finding two in one box. So... That's always cool. Like I said, um, that'll probably be one of my favorite errors um, of all time just because I found it early on in an uncirculated box and I just thought that was pretty cool. So I'll get into this last roll here and if we don't find in anything, I'll show you the enders for the next box. There wasn't anything else in that final roll for our first box of quarters. I now have our second box up here and the final box of this week's hunt at that so we'll get right into it see if we can find anything silver wouldn't be bad 
I always like finding silver quarters because it's such a challenge, so let's get into it. We've lucked out once again here. We're about a uh, little past the halfway point in this second box, and we've got a West Point. Looks to be in pretty dang good shape for being a 2019, that is. Awesome. It's a war in the Pacific. If you guys didn't know already, that is my favorite design um, from the 2019 uh, quarters that they released. So that's awesome. Let's see if there's anything else in here. So far, nothing. All right. That's it for that roll. I'll bring you guys back in if we find anything else. Bringing you guys back in once again here. This is the side that I saw first, and then I flipped it over to see that it is a West Point. Another pretty, pretty good shape one too. So that's very nice. Um, we've got eight rolls left. Um, besides this one that I'm going through right now. So, we'll see if we find anything else. If not, um, we'll get right to the wrap-up and go over all the finds that we had in this hunt once again. So, I'll let you guys know what happens next. Well, it's time for the wrap-up now. Just finished up with that last box of quarters. Didn't find anything else, but... We had a very successful hunt this week. Starting off with the halves here, we had those two Benjamins, one 90% Kennedy, and then six 40, or sorry, five 40% Kennedys. This one was that um, double stamp um, dated one, or whatever you want to call it. We did find one silver dime. As always, we usually manage to find at least one. In the quarters, they're finally back this week. We found two earring error quarters for the Lowell design and three different designs for West Points. So overall, I am very happy with the finds this week. Hopefully it's just as good next week. Should be the regular order now from now on. Unless I hear different from the bank, I'll let you guys know. But until next time, if you guys like the video, please feel free to leave a like. Um, we gained quite a few subscribers lately. Um, so if you haven't already and would like to, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. We're getting close to, I think, 300 now. So pretty awesome feeling. Uh, just starting out. Uh, probably a year ago now with putting out videos I never imagined we would get this far so I appreciate you guys' support as always and until next time take care be well and I'll catch you on the next one